Hello and welcome to a new video about the electric field. Well, we are not longer talking about the electric field, we are talking about an application, a relatively important application of the electric field, this is the capacitor. Last time we talked what the capacitor is, that the capacitor is something which primary uh, attribute is the, cap is the, the capacity, uh, so uh, to the, the the ability to store electric charge. And we talked about uh, that this is a, the usual capacitors with two uh, plates which are isolated to each other, but I also mentioned that all things have some sort of capacitance to each other. And today we want to see how uh, such capacitors are behaving if they put in a serious connection. So we want to replace, like we did with the resistors, yeah? we want to replace a series connection of several capacitors with one virtual replacement capacitor, which would be have the same, same attributes. I've drawn this here, what we try to do. So here is the situation and this is our replacement. Okay, the situation is we have three capacitors, C1, C2, C3, doesn't really matter how much, yeah, I stopped at three, we will extend this on the paper, and that's it. Yeah? And I want to replace this C1, C2, C3 with a replacement capacitor C, which will, should, from outside point of view, so from this side, from the, from the voltage source point of view, should be no difference at all. To see what is happening here, we will try to make here this loop. Huh? Here we will have a look at this loop. And apply the law, Kirchhoff's law to it, yeah, loop 1. Let's see, loop 1, u0 minus u3 minus u2 minus u1 is 0 volts. And here, what have we here? Here we have u0 minus u is 0 volts. So here we have u1 plus u2 plus u3 equals u0 and here we have u equals u0. So we can immediately follow that if both things are u0 yeah, then there must be the rule that u equals u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus and so on un. Huh? So this is the extension now, this. Because if there are more, it's alike. Yeah? And then we know at the capacitor that we have the rule that Q, here is the charge Q, huh? Here this is charged to Q1, this is charged to Q2, this is charged to Q3, Q3 yeah? and we have the rule Q equals C times U. So this means U equals Q divided by C. Now I'm going to write this here. So we have here Q divided by C. That's U. And of course, here we have Q1. Here Q2, Q3, and so on, and Qn. And always divided by the C1, C2, C3, plus, and so on, plus, Cn if there would be a Cn. And here this is again the extension. Right. Now let's think about 
what this Q is. Yeah? So look, this Q actually, Q here, equals I multiplied by T. The time T, this I is running into. So if there is a certain I, we multiply it with the time, then we have the charge inside, because this is actually Coulomb per second, multiplied by second, will be the charge we have here. This is here the same. Yeah? Q1 is also I. It's the same. It's I multiplied by T. There is nothing else. And this I is, is also going out of this capacitor. So Q2 could Q2 is also I, because there is also that I running in. It's the same amount of time, so Q1 and Q2 is a, exactly the same I multiplied by T. Yeah? And what is Q3? It's always the same I which is passing through and always the same time, because I, I, I watch it at the same time. So there is Q3 equals I, I multiplied by T. And so on. And of course, also a QN would be I multiplied by T. So this indicates that all, all Qs are the same. So actually, it's not Q, Q1 equals Q2 equals Q3 equals QN equals Q. Yeah, everything is the same. So we can write here Q equals Q, 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 Q. <laughs> divided by C, divided by C1, divided by C2, this plus sign, divided by C3, plus and plus, and divided by Cn. This is again the extension. And now I can divide by Q, and then there is written 1 divided by C equals 1 divided by C1 plus 1 divided by C2 plus 1 divided by C3, plus, and so on, 1 divided by Cn. And this is how you can calculate a replacement capacitor in a series connection of capacitors. And this is looking exactly the same as we have in, in parallel connection with resistors. And we said, okay, parallel, resist, parallel uh, connection of resistors. This was easy. Huh? This was easy because if there, I said that the complete resistance will be lowered by a parallel resistance. Because if there is a second path, one from one point to another, if there are two paths, then the total resistance must be lower than with one path. Yeah? And here it's the same formula. So if we have capacitors in series, we do have less capacity than each single capacitor alone. How is this happening? Yeah. We put them together and it's less. Well, we can, think, we can imagine it that way, yeah, that we have here a capacitor C1, we have here a capacitor C2. So this is C1, this is C2. Both capacitors do have the same area A. So we have here an A, we have here an A. However, this capacitor has a D1, this capacitor has a D2. Yeah. And we said this C1 equals epsilon mod times A1, which is A, yeah, divided by D1. And C2 equals epsilon times A divided by D2. Okay. So 1 divided by C1 equals D1 divided by epsilon A. 1 divided by C2 equals D2 divided by epsilon A. Yeah? And the sum of this 
this is 1 divided by c equals 1 divided by c1, this. So we have d1 divided by epsilon a plus d2 divided by epsilon a. So we have here d1 plus d2 divided by epsilon a. So this actually is d divided by epsilon a. Okay, and this is 1 divided by c. So c equals d divided by epsilon a, which is d1 plus d2 divided by epsilon a. So actually what we see here is a replacement capacitor, which looks like that. We can think about that, that we have here the two capacitors next to each other. Yeah? Exactly this. So we have here D1 and here D2. And this is acting like one capacitor. With a distance of D, which is D1 plus D2. I'm really small now, writing really small. I hope you can read this. So here we have our C. Yeah? This is C1 and C2. It's acting like the two blades would be further apart. Yeah? This is actually what is happening. Yeah? So this is, and the further apart the two blades are, the less capacity, capacitance is, is by this capacitor. So we can imagine, okay, yes, it seems like the capacitance is dropping when we put capacitors in a serious connection. Good. What is happening if we put them in parallel connection? We will have a look at this next time. So next time, capacitors in parallel connection for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.